All right there, YouTube. This is the result of my hacking. <clears throat> Simply took a uh, old Samsung battery, soldered wires to the positive and negative that were nicely labeled for me by Samsung. Took my Dremel and carved a little hole there in the uh, speaker box cavity. And then I decided not to use hot glue because I didn't want it to crack loose or you know, get warm and fall off if I left the speaker in the car or if this battery got warm. But uh, I used something called Lexel, which is a polyurethane caulk. It's still flexible. And uh, so that sits in there pretty nice. And then this speaker sits right on top of the battery. And that's it. The other thing I did not do, I soldered a uh, Bluetooth antenna on there. And it didn't help. The problem was uh, was me. I was just not thinking properly about this. This is a Bluetooth receiver. And the problem was the transmitter, the phone. If I actually set this sucker up and then, uh, you know, kept my phone in a, you know, like a vertical position in relation to this thing and then started walking away... I actually found I could get about 75 to roughly 100 feet before this thing would start uh, cutting out. It would kind of, you know, blip and uh, chatter. But I'd call this a huge success. I've used it on and off for like a week solid before this battery goes dead. You do need to leave it plugged in overnight so that the battery has plenty of time to charge up. But I'd say the capacity is at least tripled compared to the uh, the battery that came out said like 700 milliamp hours something like that and probably that's a Chinese Chinese 700 milliamp hours so more like 400 but uh, yeah just as long as you keep this Lexol caulk in there and keep this cavity sealed up and then make sure that the make sure that this foam stays in place all the way around here uh, it still sounds the same. Sound didn't really change or anything, but yeah, major success. It just is awesome. Nice little cheap speaker, and it lasts for about a week. So I would highly recommend doing it. It's a cool little project to have yourself a nice Bluetooth speaker for 10 bucks and a, a free battery and a soldering iron, and it's pretty awesome.